Hi Scorpio, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for the time period of September 21st through October 21st. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, or Rising. Some of the messages may resonate, may not. If it doesn't, you can always check your other signs to gain more clarity on the situation. Uh, for, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, just go to my website, moonpietarot.com, where you can book your reading. When you book it, it is not for that day. It will be a week from pay payment being made. Okay. Um, if some of you would like to get, um, if you have a question or you need more clarity, um, or just have a situation where you're on a need to know basis, like a quick, <laughs> a quick need to know basis, you can, if you have an iPhone, you can download the app. It's called Instant go. All of the information is in the description box below. Download the app and look for Moon Pie Tarot. It's instantgo.com slash Moon Pie Tarot. And uh, send me a question. I'll get back to you within 24 hours. If you wish to get more in-depth about a situation, you can always chat with me there. It's $5 for the text. Um, every 160 characters. Okay, so it's just a service that I'm offering. And uh, okay, let's get started with your reading. So at the bottom of the deck here for this time period, you have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like what's happening here is the Knight of Swords energy is someone who is charging forth. You're going to be possessing this energy during this time. Okay, maybe thinking about making a change in your lifestyle, a quick one, okay, um, maybe you're thinking of traveling, maybe there's some travel that's coming up for some of you, but the sword energy is always to me about communication or truth, or maybe there's going to be some communication about traveling. And maybe you're going to travel or someone will be communicating about traveling to you. But this is a charging forth and it kind of has that air element. It's not an emotional thing. It's more of like, um, I feel like this is going to be some type of communication coming to you or uh, between you and another person this knight's on his white horse so some type of truth or clarity or something coming in that direction but we'll get more information as we go through the reading your past position is the emperor in the reverse so your situation in the in the in the past may have been one where there was maybe immaturity or problems with power or having a big ego someone could have been you or it could have been another person where there's just this excessive control and a desire to dominate a situation. Okay, uh, keeping, trying to keep, like being overly excessive in controlling a situation in the past. When I think of the emperor, it's usually because of the ego. It usually has something to do with controlling others to feed the ego. Okay, um, so this could have been your energy or another person's energy or this is just an all-around energy in your life that you are moving away from. Okay, uh, just having this desire really, you know, or, or either someone was trying to control you or you them. Okay, now the position here of your present is the King of Wands in the reverse. So you may have been dealing with someone that had a very high expectation of you. This can be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. And I just want to point out that I don't, I'm refraining from using the major arcana cards like the Emperor, for example. <clears throat> as signs, I prefer to stick with the court cards. 
So if you're familiar with the tarot and you are familiar with, say, the emperor and the sign that that represents, and I will just say that it does represent Aries and the king of wands being a fire sign, which is Aries, that could have something to do with you, but I, I'm not going to go down that road because if I have all mostly major arcana cards, then you, you couldn't possibly be dealing with a ton of people. But you could be. But really, I'll let you make that decision. The King of Wands in the reverse, male or female, can be someone who is apathetic or feels cold or angry or aggressive. Um, can it can have someone who's maybe a bit bullish or someone who's just not ready for something. Someone who could be in the place of weakness. Okay, someone who could be, I think I said, impulsive. So this could be a person that you have been dealing with. And it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but that's their energy. And, um, and it could also be you. Um, you know, if you had that energy from the past, and so the past now goes into the future, you could still be possessing that energy, but perhaps less so because you go from the emperor back to a king. So maybe you or another person is starting to let go of that type of energy. Okay, letting go of expectations, high expectations. Now it's challenged by the King of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with two people. You could have an earth sign or a fire sign. Or this could be your energy, Scorpio, where you're now becoming less egotistical about something or lowering your expectations more so, but still struggling to maintain a sense of, of stability. You may feel a bit unstable at this time because the King of Pentacles, when in the upright, is someone who's very solid and practical, you know, and quite balanced and mature. But in the reverse, it's like that energy is still there. So I feel like some of you could be still struggling to gain your footing in a certain situation, you may be having to just let go. You may be reducing expectations that you have, or another person is. Okay, but it's a struggle. You know, it's a struggle for them. Maybe to let go of you, or a struggle for you to let go of either a fire sign or an earth sign. Earth signs would be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. So it really just depends, okay? Or letting go of excessive control of two people, both of them who may not be good for you, both of them who are very unstable during this time, okay? So what you have here, what's driving you, the root of the problem, the Ten of Pentacles, is finding a stable relationship or trying to make a relationship more secure. You may just be always coming up short of finding that, you know, and this card is also a feeling of loneliness. So you could be in this position where the lack of security in a relationship or in your love life in general causes you to just feel lonely all the time or not really meeting the right people if you're single or, or just maybe trying to hold on to people that are not good for you. <clears throat> you know, um, when this card's in the upright, this card can talk about, you know, um, well, it's just about having, it's really simple. It's just about having a stable, secure relationship. One that's built on a firm foundation that produces, that you can invest in, that gives you dividends, so to speak. And it's like, maybe you, maybe you put your energy into trying to invest in something, but maybe you were doing it in a way that 
was too controlling or just because you wanted to hold on to something in Scorpio you're fixed so you know you'll you're a stick with it kind of person but maybe you're letting that go a little bit because maybe that's not working for you okay and this is what's you know this is the root of your problem is finding that security I just feel like I want to clarify why this is at the root I'm just gonna keep this here why is it difficult for you to find the security in a relationship with others or why does another person or why do you keep meeting people that are like not or maybe because your expectations were too high you know mm. Okay, these both fell out, so I'm going to take them. Well, here's your answer, Scorpio. A lack of intuition and a lack of trust. And maybe... Too many emotional affairs. Maybe maybe people don't trust you or maybe you don't trust other people because you think people are always running around on you, you know, with the three of cups in the reverse. That card's always about like a third party situation or someone who is, you know, either with you, but they're with others too, you know, and they don't give you that sense of security. This can be about, you know, someone, you could be dealing with someone who parties all the time or drinks all the time or uses drugs all the time that kind of stuff and maybe you don't trust them and you you have difficulty finding stability with that person okay but if that's not the case then it's just really your energy where you just have difficulty trusting and letting people in so maybe letting one person in to being for you to be vulnerable with them and so you kind of maybe just, you just rather go from one person to the next for some of you. Or this is the other person that maybe they just have a lot of options or a lot of different people in their life and it's difficult for you to trust them, right? So what's on your mind is, you know, you don't want to be in a situation where it causes you mental chaos because that's what this card is the six of swords the swords are always about our thoughts you know maybe some of you want to relocate or maybe you're thinking about traveling again and that could be you know the energy of what's going on during this time to get away from you know emotional chaos that's what the water represents here but you see out here it's calmer you know so you could be just in this place during this time where you need to make some kind of a transition in your life in your thoughts maybe the way you think about things I'll clarify that too Maybe you, maybe it's just too overwhelming for you or things are just too, cause, cause you too much emotional, emo, emotional turbulence that affects your thoughts that you can't think straight and you just need to get away. Maybe you take a vacation or go on a trip or something to clear your head. You know, you could have two options here and you, uh, you know, you're definitely having a difficult time trusting people or someone or two people and maybe you need to make a decision about getting rid of one of them and some of you could be married and having a, an extramarital affair and some of you you know these two people could be in the reverse now 
because maybe you're making a decision to pull away. So there's the death card in the reverse. So that's really, you know, the death card when it's in the reverse. Death is always about change. And that's what we were talking about here, about moving forward to make changes, to get away from things. But, you know, that's almost like the saying, um, if you move to a different location, then things will be better. But that's kind of what they call geographical change. And that's not really do dealing with the issue because, of course, you, you could you could go on a vacation and but really what it is is about changing your thoughts you know and so if that's something that you're thinking about doing to just maybe more of an escape uh, you're still taking your thoughts with you and the death card in the reverse is like stagnation hope destroyed or feeling stuck it's not going to work right so and I think you probably know that it's just this card is about resisting change so you may want be wanting to get away from something but you just can't it's going to follow you until you you know really look at the situation and and charge forth and get the clarity and the truth that you that you need either within yourself or with others I feel like this is more to do with what's going on like in your head now, what's coming up for you is the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So, to me, this is a codependency card. And this is about someone who is overgiving one sided charity, you know, like uh, selfishness or someone who's struggling. So, I feel like, you know, in the near future, maybe you'll be taking a look at that. Maybe. Scorpio, you give of yourself too much and because your expectations are high in, or you're selective in what you would like back, maybe you have a mindset where if someone doesn't return to you exactly the way you give out, then you need to get, a, maybe then you view that person as being unstable or not a good fit for you, but I feel like you're getting to the realization that maybe your expectations are too high with the King of Wands in the reverse, you know, and losing that control. And maybe you had high expectations of this person and that caused them to go into the reverse. That caused them to feel as if they weren't good enough for you. Okay, so let me clarify the Six of Pentacles and see if that if there's any message here about that and why you're giving so much or or why you 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 feel like or why you do that. So the Two of Pentacles reversed, and that's a card because well, not so much because, but I feel like because. You always feel overwhelmed. And this card is also about an inability to commit. So it's almost saying to me like you you give of yourself maybe to people that are unwilling to commit to you and it's too much. But you maybe you keep giving to try to get someone to commit to you or maybe another person is going to be just continuously trying to give you more to get you to commit. Okay? If you're single or, or if you're in a relationship that's maybe not progressing. Right? Um, I just want to pull one more card for that. So you have the star. Scorpio, maybe you need someone. Maybe what you really want is someone to prove themselves to you. For some of you, maybe you had somebody that really wasn't giving you enough, right? And 
you didn't feel like you could commit to them because maybe you were judging them or maybe you had a high expectation but you know that situation could renew itself coming into the future that some type of a hope is coming back for you if you've lost hope in a relationship I feel like you're going to get that back again because maybe somebody's going to reach out who's really going to understand you and is really going to show you what give you so much maybe you need to feel worthy you know but I really want to stress to you that you really don't need the appreciation and the uh, the appreciation and the excessiveness rewards and awards from other people in order to feel good about yourself you are good enough just as you are you are good enough if you've been giving yourself so much in order to have someone uh, appreciate you or see you see your worth you don't need to do that you are worthy you don't need to um, you don't need to seek this energy in order to feel good about yourself because you already are this energy okay so I think it's really important that you try to remember that about yourself if someone is not giving you what you need or if they've been in a position where you haven't been able to find stability with them it's not it shouldn't make you unstable okay if other people are you may just need to be done with certain people in order to get back that you know if you've lost a bit of that okay but you're you're kind of struggling a little bit here I feel like you have some kind of a struggle to let go I really feel like that and you know what you feel betrayed in some way for some reason something happened that either with someone in particular or someone from your past and I just looked at this tarot card so now I'm forced to pull it someone betrayed you quite quickly suddenly the tower cards energy is just fast boom and your whole world may have felt turned upside down or, or you felt betrayed okay you may have been you may not have been or you betrayed yourself one or the other you'll have to ask yourself what's going on but you know with this card you know maybe you feel people have people are always stabbing you in the back in some way or they're always wanting something from you and then you give and give and give and then they turn around and stab you in the back and then you know fire and brimstone happen okay either in relationships or you know whichever it is but Scorpio I feel like it's because you place high expectation on others maybe to serve you in some way or to meet all these needs even though you are a giving person and even though you do care for others and you would do anything for anyone you're always like the cheerleader for other people maybe not be so hard on yourself and other people okay you know because maybe the betrayals that you are feeling are not as serious as you think they are because you you do feel things deeply and you do take things very seriously when it comes to relationships you're very highly sensitive and you will tend to take things to heart now how the other people view you or the other person is viewing you as someone who is just living in illusion <laughs> or full of fantasies okay or having too many choices okay so 
as I was saying here, you know, maybe your energy is that you, you know, if you're, maybe people in your life are in reverse because you give and give and give, but you don't commit because of the struggles, struggling to commit card with the two of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so maybe they, maybe they look at you as if you just have way too many options and that puts them in the reverse. You know, but you, Scorpio, don't care what other people think, uh, at least people in general. People who are very close to you or that have a tug on your heart, of course, you do care. Okay, but the other person, too, has a lot of choices that they need to make about their life and about what they're doing. And They're trying to restore a sense of clarity when it comes to a relationship with you. Okay, this card is also about commitment issues. So people may or someone may view you as having a difficulty in committing to either them, maybe in general for some, but since this is kind of like a relationship reading, maybe people wind up going or someone goes in the reverse when it comes to you because you have high expectations, but you won't commit, right? Because you just maybe have too many options. And I don't know, something, it's really strange. The energy here that I'm getting is like, it's really deep and heavy, you know? Uh, you can't possibly feel betrayed by people if you're not, it's like you give your all, but you, but you don't give anything. It's strange. It's very strange behavior. And I know some of you are going to comment and just be like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Look, here's the thing. You want this marriage, happy family committed thing, you know, deep down inside, that is what you want. And, you know, even if it's not marriage, if some of you are married, you may wish to restore the balance and the ha harmony in your marriage. Maybe you're too harsh on other people or on another person. Or, you know, if you're not married, maybe this is just you want love and support. You want people or someone to give back to you the energy that you put out. And if they don't, because you, you know, it's not fair for you to assume that if someone isn't loving you the way you love them, it doesn't mean that they don't care. It just means that people do things differently or they have different ways of sharing or expressing. You know, it really depends on who you're involved with. If you're involved with um, an earth sign, they don't wear their heart on their sleeves. No, 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 no. They feel it just as deeply, but they express themselves differently, right? So you, you may want this, but this is also fear for you. So if you're single, maybe there's a fear of settling down. Maybe you're not ready, or maybe you don't think you can do it. Or maybe there's another person who that you're dealing with doesn't, maybe they fear that you can't, but they want that. So your energy at the outset of the reading is the Knight of Wands. You're a very sexual type of a person. So, you know, you could be possessing this energy, maybe maintaining the status quo still. Okay. It's like you're, it's like you, you want, I feel like either you have someone that wants their cake and wants to eat it too, or that's your energy. Okay. The Knight of Wands is a lusty, free-spirited person, very passionate, creative. They travel a lot and it's clarified by the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse talks about someone who gives up too soon or, you know, 
can be lazy or not not doesn't really get many rewards when it comes to relationships because they're embodying this energy all the time you know so I feel like there's some type of like realization or clarity you may be coming to about yourself during this time or you could have someone that you know maybe they're coming to some type of realization about themselves as well I'm not and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you I'm not seeing any relationships ending I'm not seeing any relationships beginning I just see you going through struggling to go through this transition to change to let go of um, your expectations from others I see you struggling with commitment or you know trying to figure out if you should compromise with that feeling vulnerable feeling insecure um, being maybe very codependent on another person or feeling like you can't live without them but not really sure what you should do at this time and I'm not seeing action except towards maybe the end of the month where you know and this cards in the reverse this is like someone who's a player you know this is uh, some of you could be dealing it could if this turned in the reverse some of you could be dealing with someone that embodies this energy where they just don't give a shit and they just you know go around and break hearts left and right but in the upright this is like really going after what they want being adventurous passionate you know lusty this is movement okay and maybe trying to get yourself out of this because this in the this in the reverse is someone who puts effort in but sees no return on investment this is someone who does get a return on their investment look see they put all this energy in here and then this is what they got and you know if you um, work in well anything you do you have to expend a lot of energy just to maybe get one thing back you know even though you may feel like you deserve a lot more this is just how it works so maybe you are driving yourself away from that energy the expectation of thinking that you know I guess really what it's saying is be careful of all the energy you put out in things in your life what happened to that card oh here it is right in my face be careful of how much you give right if you give and you have an expectation of getting that same exact thing in return and you don't get it therefore you don't commit and that's really kind of lopsided right I mean if you're giving to the point if you're giving to get then that's lopsided okay you give because you just want to so I feel like um, you know, there's a lot of mixed messages here that's happening but this is really just a time period for you to really maybe take stock of your relationships take stock of past relationships ask yourself what it is that you want and, and loosen up a little bit and try to start to trust because I do feel like you might have one or the other these people are older these are not young people <clears throat> but you may have you know um, this could be you but if it's not this could be two people that you need to make a decision about they're both in the reverse and I feel the energy coming through here is the reason they're in the in the reverse is because you have high expectations of them and this is how you're seeing them that maybe they can't give you what they want but they, maybe they can maybe they can so maybe ask yourself if you are expecting too much right loosen up that control or that that ego if you feel like maybe you know people say um, you know if you have like deep seated insecurity issues or extremely shy or someone who is 
just has real difficulty in relationships um, because of deep insecurity that has a lot to do with the ego as well people who are egotistical you know it's always based off of fear a fear of being hurt or of, of, you know needing a lot of attention or you know having to control situations in order to bring about what we want and sometimes we do that you know but maybe it's just time to let all that go and begin to trust trust yourself and trust someone who maybe has been there for you I don't see anything like this see I'm not seeing anything here that says that someone cheated or anything like that I just see you feeling betrayed but I feel like it's you you betray yourself you don't allow things to happen blessings to happen for yourself because you don't trust people and therefore you betray yourself right so maybe ask yourself if that if that resonates for you if that's energy that's happening for you I don't really see someone coming in someone going out you know not really I just feel like it's more about you and and taking um, a deep look at yourself and and saying hmm do I do that do I not do that you know Okay, I'm going to end your reading here, and my screen's blurry again, so this reading was super long. Um, again, if you need a personal reading, you know, you can contact me at moonpytarot.com or download that app, Instant Go slash Moon Tarot, um, if you have the iPhone, and I can help you out that way too. Okay, good luck with everything.